bring everything but the hog out Think we eat nothing but grass, what you talking about? I'm about to jump into the whip and hit the whole foods early Get everything to get that soul food working Like mac and cheese, the collard greens, the black eyed peas And get a roast of that tofu turkey Got cornbread, even got stuff Mashed potatoes so good, put your hands in it Stream beans and you know we got yams with it Got cabbage Hi Tofu Nation and welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually sharing on behalf of a dear friend, Michelle, actually her name is the Kombucha Princess. As you know I'm actually travelling to Melbourne this November for World Vegan Day and a lot of vegan activist events. And basically what's been happening is, is there's been a lot of trouble going on with horse-drawn carriages. As we know, Melbourne against horse-drawn carriages is a real, real thing. But just to let you know a lot about, about actually what happens to these poor animals that's pulling these horses. Actually making horses pull oversized carriages is very, very cruel. Let's say horses are forced to actually toil in all different weathers extreme weathers, dodging traffic and pounding the pavements all day long. They may actually develop respiratory ailments because they breathe in all these exhaust fumes and things as well and they can suffer debility and leg problems from actually walking on hard surfaces as well. Let's say horses are actually drop dead from actual heat stroke as well after walking in extreme summer heat and actual humidity as well. There are actually accidents waiting to happen guys and it's important that we really understand that. Let's say horses are really really sensitive and skit skittish animals. Let's say animals and people have been seriously hurt as well and even killed. Let's say when horses actually have become spooked and then run amok. So they get spooked by things like cars and such like. So you'll see it when you pass horses usually with your dog how easily they can be spooked. So that just shows you. Let's see, there also have been countless incidents in which carriages have actually been hit by impatient or careless drivers. Accidents have actually occurred in nearly every day where carriages rides are actually allowed. Let's see, horses are afforded no protection under the Federal Animal Welfare Act. So the responsibility of actually looking out for their welfare falls upon local animal control officials. But anti-cruelty laws provide few safeguards to horses and many human and humane agencies just don't have the resources or the time to actually monitor horse-drawn carriages on a regular basis. So animals can be easily overworked when non-profit driven operators fail to actually follow the regulations. So that's what I'm actually going to be talking quite a lot about and actually what Melbourne Against Horse Drawing Carriages are actually doing to actually try and put a ban on these actual crew. Actually on the 30th of June this year the permit for, the permit for actual Swanson Street was not renewed after the Lord Mayor actually decided they must actually go. Seeing there is no, they were actually seeing things like there was no water anywhere for the horses, but previously said that there was water all over the city. And they'd actually, this only actually happened really when the actual permit was actually removed. They previously said that horses never got spooked, yet when the police actually confronted them about their illegal behaviour, they started saying that they were spooked and that they said the horses were only what six hours a day in the actual month but people are actually saying that that's far from the truth because they're saying that they've been seeing them what every single day most of the time they're actually classified as cars as well and they have to park where they're actually classified where they're allowed to park which is outside of the city and obviously they have to park and pay as well because they actually have to use the parking meters so they have been doing this illegally and they're actually doing basically illegal street trade really. So they've, what they've actually been doing is they've actually been parking in Flanders Lane but apparently they've been parking actually at 153 Swanson Street so people can't actually see them. And then they're, what they're actually doing is that they believe that they're allowed to park there and it's basically a d dangerous as well. So the place that they're actually parking at illegally is even more congested than where the trams are because it's really, really dangerous. 
So the plan is to take things to Victoria Transport and get them banned from the roads as well. So if you see them parking on Swanson Street, please feel free to promptly call on 95 no, 9658 9658 for illegal parking and also join the amazing people on the Facebook page She's made against her are outrageous she has been falsely accused of a number of things including making threats of violence that would cause serious harm threats or of property damage throwing food and spitting on this individual as you can obviously imagine she's absolutely shocked and astounded at the the lens carriage operators will go to silence her valid and legitimate campaigning effort, including lying on the stand in the court of law. Have no doubt this is a blatant attempt to obviously silence peaceful protest, non-violent direct action and freedom of speech. Not only is the campaign manager prevented from continuing the campaign in its current form without serious risk, she is also prevented from directing others to do so as well. It's obviously vital that the efforts to silence activists are battled and won. The campaign manager will be fighting to prove the accusations made against her are entirely false. However, she needs your support. The MAHD, which is the Melbourne Against Horse Drawing Carriages campaign, has been entirely self-funded with the exception of $300 requested from donors at the beginning of the campaign. The estimate legal of fees for the two cases, the first to protect our campaign manager and the second to protect horses from the industry once for all and will cost an estimated $7,500 to $10,000. Since the campaign the efforts lend to end at the street trading permits for horse-drawn vehicles and operators losing their parking privilege in Swanson Street on June 30th, they have been ignoring the new regulations and blatantly breaking laws by illegally parking, trading and parking, and state road safety laws by continuously entering a no-entry zone on Swanson Street, marking illegal U-turns, travelling through tram super stops, blocking trams and repeated use of bike lanes. Through some police and local law enforcers are making feeble attempts to address these systematic issues, it has been MAHDC led by our campaign manager and has been made on the front line since July 1st, documenting these illegal activities and informing the general public and potential customers that street trading is now illegal. This has been met with great support from the majority of the public. However, sadly, all verbal abuse and physical bullying, including showing pushing and property damage for some operators, Amongst all of this came a serious threat against another uh, horse-drawn carriage operator who is known to be violent. This threat has resulted in our campaign manager having to attend court three times to get a personal safety intervention order against him. So while we use laws designed to obviously protect us from violence from one operator, we're also being forced to defend ourselves against another operator who is using laws instead to obviously silence opponents of exploitation, thereby protecting their own business interests. MAHD have run a peacefully public supported lobbying and awareness campaign for over three years, which was won fair and square. The next and final step is to ensure the operators abide by these new regulations imposed on them. It has been made very clear since 1st of July that the only people willing to put in the time and effort required to ensure this happens is MEHDC and currently they cannot. As mentioned above, this order against the campaign manager not only prevents her from obviously being able to safely run the campaign without being unintentionally in the breach of order simply by near the carriages and obviously using a camera, it obviously prohibits her from obviously directing others to do so and she is banned from doing this. This includes things like communicating with any of the operator's clients which is basically easily easy to unintentionally breach by obviously simply handing a stranger a flyer, approaching or remaining within 10 metres of protected persons. The operator can simply park where our manager obviously is working near the other carriage operators and where she'll obviously be forced to move on. 
keeping under surveillance or published on the internet by email or other electronic communication in any material about the obviously protected person. The operator gets a free pass to continue breaching the laws and to engage in further cruel and exploitative activities without them actually being able to report on these actual public and authorities. And obviously the approach of remain within 10 metres of the carriage horses obviously owned by the companies. They're obviously not, not aware of any every driver who's actually horses and carriages that belong to these carriages and are unmarked as well. So there's a lot of things going on guys and at the moment the, the fund is only at nine fifty dollars so you can donate fifty no I'm sorry you can actually donate fifty dollars and at the moment I think it's actually at like I said they're actually at 785 of the 10,000 goal. So I hope you guys can get involved with this. It would mean the world, like I say. It's one of the cruelest things that actually go on. As a vegan, like I say, you've got your part to play. We always look about the, the slaughtering things as well, but there's animals being used and exploited every day for our pleasure and entertainment. This day and age, like I say, this is not needed, like I say. It's not a part of society, you can get trams, there's transport about, bicycles. Why should animals have to be used to actually get us around the city? It's far, far wrong guys. I hope you can actually support this. Please share it, like I say, go over and support their Facebook page and obviously their YouTube page as well. Remember as always, binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings and be kind to every kind. The only difference is your perception and that's very, very true. Speak to you in the next video and please leave any comments below. Follow me on social media at Twitter, Instagram and obviously my Patreon page would mean the world for $1 a month. Speak to you all soon guys. Binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings. Speak to you all soon and love you so much.